Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Chevy Road Studio. Today we're going to play with player piano roll paper. So I've been wanting some of this, I don't know, um, for a while now. And I couldn't find any. I've looked at um, a couple different places I was at and uh, they were out. So I asked my son if he saw any on his travels to grab me some and so he did. So anyway, um, we're going to just make, I'm hoping to just make an envelope using some of this. So this is the beginning part of the roller paper. So I guess you hook this into whatever and then it keeps rolling, right? So we're going to utilize this part right here, which I think is pretty cool. Too bad you only get one of those. Per roll and then I've just um, I've cut this this off this is just plain we're gonna use on this part we're gonna just use this and then I'm gonna cut off another piece of the roller um, for the envelope so for this we'll just be using this piece and I'm thinking how big I want my envelope Six. Okay, so I cut it uh, six by ten. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like a coin envelope style. Or we could make a. Eh, we could make a regular envelope. I was gonna do like a coin envelope, but you know what? This is a good size for a regular envelope. So. All right, what we're gonna do is take our roller paper. Isn't that pretty? So cool. I don't know, there's just something about all this old stuff. Um, this is kind of like shiny on one side and then matte on the other. So what I want is a piece that I can glue to this. This stuff is just way too thin to use by itself. So you have to, well, let me put this on top. That would make more sense. Okay. So what I want is a piece the same size. So that would work. Where is my pencil? Okay. So now that we've marked the amount that we need, I'm gonna put it through the my chopper over here. My chopper does a great job, and it usually gets it straight unless I make an error lining it up. So, okay, we're gonna take this. This is just a piece of like a marbled um, cardstock. I don't know the weight of it. Just grabbed what I had. So we're going to use a little Mod Podge to glue this on and I'm just going to drip some on here, real scientific like, and spread it out. Hopefully it's enough and not way too much because that's what I usually end up with, way too much. Oop, you know what? I should have my grungy paper under here. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you remind me? Okay. I'm hoping to use this envelope when it's done. I'm hoping to use it in my bee journal that I'm working on. So you get to see some of the ephemera pieces for that journal being created. Okay, that worked out good. It, I'm stuck to it. Actually is the right the right amount, but it's gonna curl and I don't want it to curl. Come on. I don't want it to curl while I grab my I guess I could do that just for a second. 
pocket. And now my hands are sticky. This stuff's pretty fragile, I think. So it's um the trick is just to getting it on there. Okay, that went pretty well, actually. Let me get my napkin back here. Just going to make sure that this is stuck everywhere without ripping it in those areas where there's holes. Once they have gotten a chuckle back when they actually use these piano rolls, if they knew that Years and years later, crafters would be <laughs> ripping them up to use for junk journals. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this paper off, trim off the excess, and of course, save that. You know what, I'm gonna do this on my okay. cutter. So we have this nicely Mod Podge down now we decide, let's see, yeah, let's go this way. So let's go up to about right there, my bone folder. Just kind of trying to crease that there. Giving some room between the top flap and the bottom part. it or okay so I grabbed the little piece that we were going to use from the roller just cut that off I'm wanting to attach that like Somewhere right about there. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should go at more of a. Hmm. Okay, so I grabbed a regular envelope, and I'm wondering. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, so let's put this together with this to kind of make a template for us. Hope oh, this is gonna work, guys. Just kind of tracing around this. Because there's no way. I mean, I knew right away that there was no way I was going to be able to cut a perfect. No, no way. So let's see what we got here. We'll just cut this off where we traced it. I'm trying to get that pencil. But I'm going to I'm gonna ink it anyway, so no worries about that showing. There. Toss that aside. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? This seems a little crooked to me, though. 
All right, and then we're gonna lay this booger right here. Okay. Let's do some inking. We put a little thumb notch in there. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get our art glitter glue. So we're gonna glue this side so we know how much glue we need. So there's like something in this hole here. You see the patina on that um, little eyelet, the back of it? It's like, it tells you how old this thing was. I'm just trying to get that paper that was over that eyelet. Okay, we are going to glue this. You can't see so much on the front, but on the back you can tell it's a player piano paper. So we will do some decorating on here for the theme of my D journal. Okay, everybody, I am back. Um, you probably didn't notice, but because I started this video on Friday and did not uh, get a chance to finish it, so. This is Monday, and I am back at it. So, yeah, I'm a procrastinator. I had to go get my taxes done Friday. Ugh, I hate doing taxes, right? Um, anyhow, I had to go do that, and I got sidetracked, and so I never got back to the envelope video. So I am back. So um, to you, I was just not gone at all. But anyhow, um, this is what we have so far. Remember, we're using the... Well, yeah, we're using the player piano paper. So what I want to do, because this is going in my B journal, I thought how cute it would be to do some honeycomb stenciling on this. Just uh, hopefully lightly. I don't even know. Just maybe like some of these are broke. I guess I got too rough with them. Maybe just like at an angle. It doesn't 
seem like it's showing up. Yeah, it is. It's it's very faint, but it looks kind of cool. Especially because this is, like I say, this is for my bee journal. So let's turn it over and let's do some on the back. Again, this just adds that extra layer, kind of a, a faint layer texture to this. Yeah, cool. There we go. Yeah, that's um, that's what I wanted it to look like. So we'll, we'll stop there. Oh, I lied. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Kind of random. There we go. I can live with that. Um printed these out, these ephemera pieces on printer paper before I did it on the cardstock. So I'm going to use these ones. Mm, just kind of add something to this. Get my bigger scissors. To add something to the front of this envelope to make it more be big. And I know in the Oh, I don't know, the last or one of the last videos I got several people asking where these digitals came from. Uh, I'm sorry. Usually I'm really good at um, linking all that stuff or giving you good information. And these were just ones that I had hunted on. I had, I had, I don't anymore let it go. I had a subscription to Creative Fabrica, and it is, it's a, it's a great place to have a su subscription. I just decided that maybe I should, uh, let it go. I don't know that I used it that much, but, um, before it expired, I kind of went on to look and see if I could find anything bee-themed, um, for this journal, and so that's where these came from. They're not all one kit. I'm, I'm utilizing, I think it's a couple different kits on there. So that's why, yeah. All right, I don't know, I didn't really need that. Maybe we'll just kind of loosely fussy cut around this B part. Not easy to do with these big scissors, but um, hmm. okay, let's take this and do just kind of trying to isolate a few interesting pieces out of this tag that came with the ephemera and then Maybe just instead of having that sharp edge, maybe cutting in a little bit. And then a little ink. That's really hard to do. These are flimsy. up a little bit but yeah I like that let's get our glue stick so today is the big solar eclipse and I don't have any glasses I don't I don't plan on going out and looking at the sun I don't suggest that you do either I guess unless you have special glasses um, even then I'd be careful but it's kind of a neat thing to to be alive for and uh, so now hopefully I got this glued good enough to the edges just 
using this to kind of get it all down. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Where's my B? Where's my B? Why don't you use this? It just doesn't. This little B doesn't do well with the distress oxide. It's faint. You can barely see it. It's there, but. Oh, hey. Ooh, this might work, actually. This dauber. Oh, yeah, that's going to be juicy. Okay, let's see how that works. Uh, yeah. It's a little. It's a little juicy when you do that, but maybe doing a one and then eh, not not the best, but it's uh it's on there. It's faint. You can see it. Okay, I'm wondering. See that tip is sticking up. I wonder if I should just cut that off it off versus trying to stick it down there I made the decision just chopped it off okay now I'm wondering about something for the back isn't that cute that player piano that's the tab let's just think it's so cute um, we could definitely, I don't see when you cut this out though, you kind of cut into the other. I don't know why they printed it like that. Cause see when you cut that out, it just cuts into these, these other ones. But I do like that. So let's, let's see if we can grab that one. Sometimes the creators don't maybe don't think about how that's gonna actually work out I don't know I don't know because why would you do that you can't use I don't know. not my thing I didn't create it but I like it I like the wings sticking out and if they wanted to do one like that and just have it like separate not right next to another one that would have been much better but anyways, we're gonna grab this guy. And see how he looks on the back of our envelope. stable to get these edges. I had somebody ask me, this is just an acrylic block I'm using. I just grabbed something that's kind of got a sharp edge to it. Like, you know, uh, this. It's not sharp, but you know what I mean. Like, And it just holds your whatever you're doing that's flimsy. Like, this is just computer paper, right? It's not uh, cardstock or anything. And I like to get my edges dark. And by by holding a piece of this computer paper and trying to distress it, you just you're just fighting it. I mean, it can be done, but it just it's wiggly and it drives me nuts. So I started trying to find something. Sometimes I use my ruler, sometimes I use that acrylic block. Um I mean I guess it could go there. I don't know. If I put it there, does it take away from this tab? Or does that look cute there? Because, I mean, otherwise you're going to just have it off to the side. Maybe we'll put it there. What do you think? All right. I guess we're putting it there. Is there anybody out there that would be interested in some of these... Player piano rolls for your junk journaling. 
because I might be getting some. I haven't made up my mind yet. Might be getting some and it'll be more than I need. So I was thinking about maybe cutting some up and putting them in my Etsy shop. But just so you're aware, I will cut off all of these first because I won't be including this tab thing. Um, that's just too much fun to use in our journals. And I'm just going to be stingy and keep that for myself. Okay, what else? What else? I just kind of wanted to use a... No, I wanted a piece that had... I don't know, like, except for that covers up my stenciling. Let's see, what this... grabs those ripped edges more so than just a regular edge because that torn paper grabs up the ink I don't know I like to do stuff like that just Gives it a little extra. Finally starting to warm up here in Michigan. I took the weekend off from filming and really got a lot of work done outside. Not outside, but so I'm cleaning my she shed. I have a really big she shed I love. And I'm going to have a garage sale in there in a couple weeks, three weeks. So I had to do some cleaning and organizing and I'm still not done, way far away from being done. But that's what I was doing this weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, let's see. are all so big so could put one there but they are so big I don't know what do you think they look they feel kind of big for this envelope but it would be kind of neat to have a a B stamp on one you know on this to go along with the theme I don't know. Maybe when I get it on there, I'll realize that it's... Oh my goodness, come on. That it's going to look too big. Alternative, obviously, is to take just take a smaller stamp. I mean, that one would kind of be pretty. The uh, yeah. See how decisions just happen. Um, I wanted to use the B one, but I feel like it's just too big for that envelope. And these ones are all cool, but. A lot of them are birds, and then these are kind of big, too. So we go to the other so stamp stash. And this color kind of just uh, stuck out to me. So I'm going to need my acrylic block again because it's just 
too wiggly to try to get a good um, ink edge. And when you do it like that, it's quick, easy, and you can get a nice edge around that. Yeah, you're welcome. Just use whatever, just whatever you have. We'll save that for something else. Now I gotta look at this close and see. Okay, it goes this way. So, yeah. Um, just, I don't know. This kind of crafting is, is so much fun because you can just, as you go, just make decisions and, yeah, I like that. It, it grabs that orange, but wait. There's more. You know I can't. You know I can't do that stamp without my favorite stamp. <laughs> stamp without my stamp. There. I know it's my favorite. Okay, so I think I think we're gonna call. No, we're not gonna call this good. I was going to put. That's what I was doing. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to to do this. Because if I just tie it there, I mean, I guess you could do that. I guess you could go around. Come on now. Leave yourself some slack, and then you could go around twice. And then, man, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Let's cut off the edge. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's not. Not really tight, but I guess we can leave it like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really crazy about this twine. Maybe I went around too many times. Maybe that's bugging me. Let's see. But if you do it once, I mean, once is probably enough, right? Okay. All right, we're gonna call that good. So this was player piano paper used for a grungy envelope for my B journal. All right, guys, I will see you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.